I want to make a video, kind of update one I did three or four years ago about changing these concaves out. So those are the small wire concaves for small grain, oats in this case, and then uh, these are two of the three round bar that are corn and beans that I've taken out already. They're really, I don't know, 60 or 80 pounds, especially this one on the end. So what I ended up doing, it's just awkward because you got to get them up and, uh, you know, bolted to the underside of that rotor. For those of you who don't know, the concaves sit up in here and this rotor spins it. It's disengaged now, but it spins 300 to 800 RPMs. And then the concaves are sort of cupped in this orientation and get bolted up here on a plate and then cupped on the other side. But that distance between this rasp bar and the concave, um, the grain is spinning around. It's rubbing up against the concave and then the grain falls out. In this case, last case, it was peas. Everything else falls out too, but it's basically it's threshed. And then it's just a matter of sorting out the peas that you want to keep and then everything else gets uh, sieved and blown out the back of the combine. The old fan right down there. So anyway, getting these things up and in here, since they're so heavy, there's just an awkward moment. You got no good place to stand. And you're, you're going from carrying it like kind of in a bicep curl position to that clean and jerk. You got to get it up over your head or high enough and then don't drop it on you. So I saw somewhere online that someone had taken just one of these little battery powered uh, winches that people put on the front of an ATV or I don't know, on their truck. And this one's just run off the 12 volt battery that that jumper cable goes over to the battery in the combine. And um, it has a little remote. So if I turn it on, the blue light should come on in three seconds. So now, retract so you see it moving and then with this remote in one hand and sort of guiding it with the other guiding the uh, concave you can get it down on the ground safely so you i'm trying to protect my back my legs and i don't want to drop that thing on my feet or on me when you're up in that kind of little crack not crack but you're in that tiny space but you got a toe hold on that there this has worked well um, it's going to be a little more of a challenge. I think I can I can thread that strap through these small wires. There's enough of a gap. Yeah, I should be able to get that through there. So that's how they're going to go back in. So I've got the last of these three out. Just want to make that short little video. The last one I did three or four years ago is fairly popular, which is always surprising to me that anybody watches these things. But thanks for watching. And. Maybe later today, I gotta hook it up to the bean head. Well, that's where I'm gonna come. I'm gonna direct cut the oats. There's not too many weeds in the oats. We'll make sure that's all running and um, then head over to the field and maybe even start combining today. Well, I kind of doubt it. Maybe we can get done this after, we can start this afternoon.